Well, as is well documented, I'm not very good at nature, but I'm pretty sure this is corn on the cob. And uh, I've got to be a bit careful because there's a there's a combine harvester to my left. So I assume they're uh, yeah, he's cleared that bit and he's working on that bit where I'm standing. So there you go. See him in the distance over there. Oh, I assume that's his mate returning after emptying. Okay, here we are with my. It's either Winex or Winex chest rig. I'll post a link online so you can uh, pronounce it as you feel. Um, it's reasonably cheap, not overly expensive. And it's got the one feature I was looking for, which is that drop down support there. You can probably do with tightening that up a little so everything doesn't fall out the bottom. Okay, so there's the pack. It is surrounded by molly, so you could use it without the chest straps and just fix it to the back of your pack. The straps are fitted with four quick release buckles. They're very heavy duty, I've not had any trouble with these slipping. It's made out of a nice Cordura material. You've got Velcro, you've got molly. Everything you need really. You don't have to get it in this colour. Um, I think there was a black, a navy blue, coyote, olive drab, all the all the standard sort of stuff. So, okay. Sadly, there was so much farm machinery noise outside. I've had to come home to finish this video. So here we are going round my chest rig, and on the outside I have a Petzl Ticker XP2 light. Does all the usual white LED, red LED. Also, my Garmin GPS is secured to the front. Now, I keep all my first aid bits and pieces in the front of this pack. Um, this is one of the real reasons I like a chest rig. Um, if you were to fall over, roll an ankle, or, or sprain a wrist, or, or fracture a clavicle, um, I want to grab some ibuprofen quick in a hurry. I don't want to be taking off my rucksack. I want it just there. And it is just there on my chest. So there we go, ibuprofen. Paracetamol. It's a sign of the time, so 2020, face mask. Don't leave home without it. Blister plasters, never needed them yet, but you never know. Just buy good shoes instead. Plasters cut to size as applicable. Our oh, selection of sort of steri wipes and alcohol wipes. What else have we got? It's a Virax because you've got to treat that cold sore tingle. Oh, it didn't want to stay. Uh, what's that? Corn plaster. Uh, lip balm because dry chap lips are nasty. Okay, that concludes the first aid section. Okay, I've got a lighter there. It is a zigzag brand lighter, and it's uh, it's one of those like rocket flame jobbies. There you go, flameless. I find they do much better than a traditional bic lighter unaffected by windy conditions. Emergency whistle, you blow it, people come and rescue you. That's the theory anyway. Bag of rubber bands, um, you never know. I find them quite useful, rubber bands. Small selection of cordage, uh, some Paracord there already tied into prussic knots because they're versatile and useful for everything. Uh, really heavy duty marker pen. Never know when it might be useful for 
writing a message somewhere for people to come rescue you survivor filter water filter with a bit of a duct tape wrapped around the end can be used as a straw or a sort of squeeze filter after bite uh, for stings both insects or, or nettle thorns stuff like that I tend to use it on uh, insect stings and bites uh, it's ammonia mostly ferrocerium rod striker attached by a length of paracord what have we got here oh yeah pebble uh, USB charger um, you know always useful should the phone be dead speedy sharp uh, this actually works I was thought this was a bit gimmicky at first when I saw people talking about it but my god it does the job uh, spare AA battery at this point I'd like to say there were three more triple A batteries or double A's uh, but they went in my head torch right uh, Boca Plus worldwide um, ridiculously this is legal in the UK uh, it's a slip joint doesn't lock it's hefty it's a nice tool Uh, here we have a, a pen stylus and the good thing about this also got another torch in the end quite bright and a laser pointer which is useful for signaling over fairly long distances okay in this back pocket Okay, this is something I've added recently. Um, this is a flashing dog collar. And the reason I've added this is when I had to bail off the mountain at Dartmoor, I found myself walking along an unlit road with cars whizzing past me. And I thought that would be useful on the back of my back. Just have my USB cable there. Compass. Roll of Gorilla Tape, way too big, way too heavy, need to uh, sort that out. Uh, printed maps, always useful just in case the uh, GPS or the phone are non-functional. Uh, cheap Wish torch, cost a pound but is really quite bright. As you can see there, that's in daylight and it's bright. It uses one AA battery. I've got a spare AA battery there. Headphones, uh, so I can listen to whale music at night if I have trouble sleeping. And that's everything that goes in my chest rig. And as I said, one of the main reasons I like it is because everything I could conceivably need in an emergency, nearly everything, is just there at hand. I don't have to faff around with getting my, my pack on and off. Uh, a few things I'm thinking about adding are uh, maybe a, a survival bag or a poncho or both. I think that would be a good use. Um, if I can get a smaller trowel, maybe even the poop kit could fit in there. And there we have it. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope it gives you uh, some ideas of sort of first aid and emergency stuff that you might be useful for you on a hike or backpacking. <laughs>